Overnight numbers indicate the markets in the Asian corridor fared better than the domestic and European exchanges in responding to yesterday's news from the Federal Reserve. Europe and the UK have already taken notice, and today's activity in those markets indicates that buyers are outnumbering sellers almost two to one. Whether or not today's market activity here at home will mirror the resilience seen overseas is a question sure to be on the minds of investors here and abroad throughout the day. Ellen? I gotta go. The market doesn't open for three hours. <sighs> The market's always open somewhere. You'd think a woman pulling a 90-hour work week would be entitled to five minutes of quality time with her fiancé. Don't expect any pity from me. Did I tell you to become a banker? Isn't that why you're marrying me? To tell everyone your wife's never home and makes even more money than you? What a lucky girl I am. <laughs> The term would be cologne. Uh, yeah, you're here to work or get laid. Is that a proposition? I like it. Your cologne, it's musky. I guess it is. Yeah, musky my ass. How can you get married when an ass like that falls in your feet on a daily basis? Marriage is a crutch, my friend. Okay, it's a safety net for those who know that they're never going to do any better. What can I tell you, buddy? I'm in love. Fine, be in love. You want to waste your mojo? That is your call. But first, you got to survive a Freddy Sacker bachelor party. <laughs> and it will not disappoint. This elevator's not the only thing that's going up. Tom Dulac, please. Well, Stevens. So what, you don't hold the door open for a lady? They don't want you to hold it. Really? It's a feminazi thing. You hold the door, they think you're saying, I'm a guy, you're a girl, you need a head start. You hold doors open for women, don't you? I've been known to. As have I. Guys, the point is, is that it's not appreciated, okay? That's what I'm trying... What is this? New trainee. Oh, isn't that nice? How you doing, trainee? Hey. Tim. Tim Sherman. All right, Tim Sherman. You ready to get to work? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Big Shot. It just so happens that um, I do have a pressing assignment for you. Do you know how to get to Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Yeah, it's very simple. This is what you're going to do. You're going to go downstairs. Right outside is a subway entrance, okay? You're going to take the two train about five, six stops to Bergen Street. A couple blocks down on your right is the place. Greenblatt's Bagels. And I would like um, one sesame with Tex-Mex cream cheese and one super onion plain. Actually, you know what? You know what? Throw, throw some Tex-Mex on there also. You want me to go to Brooklyn to get you a bagel? No, two bagels, my friend. You know, you gotta pay attention, okay? Because it's all in the details. Anyone for a bagel? Yali? Nope. No, really? You guys are... Well, look at that. It's an easy order. <laughs> it's your lucky day. Now, go on, Sherman. Come on, get a move on. I'm timing you. Hundred bucks says he quits in a week. All right! 8.30, let's go! Good morning, though not for oil and gas. Sources at OPEC indicate a decrease in production level for the next quarter. Uh, expected dip in the entire transportation sector within 10 days, and if you're a driver, you should have filled those gas tanks. Um, wouldn't that be insider filling? <laughs> with the same, Mr. Kenderson. Uh, all right, as we know, it's T-minus 72 hours for the IBG and IPO. Uh, the new issue weighs in at 10 million shares. 
Uh, IVGene.com co-founders Brad Green and Joe Callen are with us this morning, gentlemen. Morning. I'm Brad, this is Joe. What's up? On our first day at Columbia B School, we looked around our packed finance class and saw a room full of highly intelligent, attractive, and ambitious individuals. It occurred to us that our peers, not just at Columbia, but throughout the Ivy League, constitute the best and the brightest of our generation. Well, that's right, Brad. And we further realized that the gene pool of this very select group is arguably the world's most valuable untapped natural resource. IVGene.com brings this resource into the open marketplace, buying and selling the semen and the eggs of Ivy League graduates over the internet. Those Ivy Gene jackasses are selling us up the river and they don't even know it. it. Smells like money to me. Yeah, well, the minute you remove the penis from the reproductive process, you can just say goodbye to the era of male dominance. I think that era went out with eight track tapes and fondue. Exactly. We're already an endangered species, and you want to hold elevator doors. You sound like paranoid talk show freak guy, you know? It's technology, it's evolution. Have you ever heard of it? You know what? Don't talk to me about evolution, okay? I saw Gattaca. I know what happens when you mess with Mother Nature. Henderson, this is Catherine Miller. New VP Sales over from Aronson. We'll be partnering up with her on the IPO. Hi. Freddie Sacker, one of your sales guys. Feel free to make him suffer. So in the elevator. Oh, good. That's what I thought that was. conference room A. You should buy Calcor. Excuse me? 39's a good price for Calcor. Our analyst projected 50. Don't you have work to do? Actually, I have something of yours. Do you want to go into the hallway for a minute? No, I don't want to go into the hallway. I'm working here. What's with the drama? What do you got? <clears throat> Jeez, I've been driving myself crazy looking for that. Well, did you look under my bed? How, uh, how did you get under your bed? Mm -hmm. Must have fallen behind the headboard during our little game that night. <laughs> you walk with us today. <laughs> Anyways, I'm off the floors every Saturday, so I must have found it the very next day. The Navy ones are nice. My Wait, dad's hold, 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 hold on, you, you found it last month. What were you waiting for? I thought it would be a good idea to have it as a bargaining chip, in case you never call me and pretend like nothing ever happened. Which, let's see, is exactly what happened. YouTube seminar 3A begins in five. Those funds came in during the second round of VC financing. You can ignore that whole column. Okay, that makes more sense. There's a redacted version in the prospectus, if that's easier to follow. Alex, are we pushing this to the hedges? Um... I'm sorry, could you excuse me for five minutes? Honey, it's always good. I'm up half a million since breakfast. I think that calls for a celebration. Jack, I'm in the middle of an important business meeting. <laughs> I can't just... Why don't you check the ladies? <laughs> for what? For ladies. Oh, <laughs> what exactly do you have in mind? Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh! Excuse me. Sorry. Alexander Brill, this is Catherine Miller. Hi. Catherine jumped ship at Aronson just in time to run syndicate on your favorite IPO. Welcome to my nightmare. Alex is Your member. fiance. I have to go. Okay. She seems very nice. She's okay. Looks like your mojo's in good hands. It is. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Go boys, so we got four beers and a nice mint julep. Hello! <laughs> it's tradition, come on. Cheers. 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 Enjoy. Enjoy. Drink it fast, it goes down easier. Hey Sherman, 
What exactly is your stand on the uh, on Xena? Is that a pharmaceutical? Um, Xena, the the warrior princess. Okay, I'll make I'll make I'll make it simple. Um, Xena or Buffy? Buffy? That's the wrong. No. <laughs> oh. Jack. Jennifer. Hello. I was just thinking of you the other day. Hello. Jennifer is an old classmate. How you doing? What's, what's going on? How's everything? Things are looking up. That's all right. <laughs> Yes? I want my ring. Fine. Dinner. You and me. Look, Donna, what happened happened. But I, uh, I really don't think it should Would happen. Would you get over yourself? I'm not interested in it happening again. In fact, it wasn't so great. I just want to have dinner and talk to you about some stuff. Work stuff. It wouldn't even be a date. I don't know. You know what? Forget it. Just forget it. If you're too good to have dinner with me, despite the fact that you grew up not two miles from my house, then forget it. Take your freaking ring that you got for sitting on a submarine for six months, defending us from nobody. Buffy was born a slayer. Her abilities came to her accidentally, okay, genetically. Xena, on the other hand, earned her heroism through discipline training. As soon as I make managing director, I'm out of there. Blue ships put me to sleep. I don't think anybody told you this, but I'm engaged. Well, isn't that a crime? Yeah. Well, if it isn't the Belmont boys. Yeah, what's up? Hey, what are you slumming? I thought you were. That guy sells toys online. We took him public last year. Stock split a few times. Now he's worth seven, eight hundred million. Hey, listen, we were just on our way out, but do you guys want to come and check out my new toy? Nice toy. This is sweet. That's all right. Gets me from here to there. So uh, we're gonna take it down to the Caribbean. Oh yeah. Yeah. I always wanted to play. You know, I'm not. You know I'm not wearing any underwear right now. Just Listen, I got a satellite dish. I've got cell phones. I've got a bunch of laptops. You guys can play the market while we're sailing. <laughs> no one would even know you're gone. Wouldn't that be nice? Pays yourself, buddy. There's a bachelor party tomorrow night. You want me there? Well, you know, if you can uh, squeeze it into your social calendar. All right. I think the closet is. Uh, no, it's, it's a cliche, but there, it's true. I think you know when you're when you're on a, on a boat or on, on the ocean, you, there, you sort of are confronting the by the vastness that it uh, kind of an infinite you know an infinity of uh do you, do you, dig, do you dig jazz okay thanks <laughs> hey hey so i was wondering what exactly you meant by engaged well let's see um, I asked Alex to marry me, and she said yes, and boom, we were engaged. Really? So, basically, we're talking engaged, engaged. Basically. Mm -hmm. Where is she tonight? Working. Interesting. Come on, Jack. What are you gonna do? Get married, have two little babies, join the PTA. Well, that's the plan. You wanted to see me? I was told that, uh... Would you like me to come back later?
Why don't I? I'm gonna leave now. I guess uh, I'm leaving. Please log off secondary terminals for system control. According to the SEC, IB Gene's inventory valuation policy should be based on actual acquisition costs as opposed to average costs. Yeah, in English. You've assigned a uniform value to all of your products, yet your acquisition costs indicate you pay a lower price to donors from certain schools within the Ivy League. Yale's firm is worth more than Penn's firm, and anyone can tell you that. The valuation doesn't take that into account. Well, you see if Kenderson's still here. Please. I don't see what the problem is. They've got bad information. We can challenge it, but that could take a week. This blows. Okay, let's slow down. We'll work around this. What are our options? We save the financials. That'd be tight. We'd have to get the auditors working around the clock. Why don't you just increase the share price? If the company's worth more, we should be getting more money. Well, every indication we took was based on a 16 top. You bump the price, we look like a-holes. You look like a-holes already. Wow, can I get in on this? There's no reason to press our luck on the price. We've got demand at 16, that's where we open. Let's get the auditors working and leave the rest to the market. You'll get your money. Hold on, Mr. Henderson. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's time to kiss the master goodbye. We better take a good look at this innocent little face because you may never see it again. Oh, yeah? No, I'll be good. Bachelor parties don't really float my boat. You know what I mean? There's something so obvious about them. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's kind of anti-erotic, don't you think? I mean, like these women blatantly selling sexuality through cheap fantasy fulfillment tactics. It's tactical. You know? Hey, sweet God. Hey, girls, girls, what's the rush? Sorry, honey, that's the basic show. All right, hold on. I get it. So, um, what else you got? Depends. How much we talking about? Oh, well, look around, sweetheart, because, um, the money's here. But, you know, what's on the menu? My special tonight's called Riding Cowboy. Oh, big man. But we don't just want your money, Mr. Wall Street. Oh, well then tell me what you want, baby. I'll give it to you. Equity. What? Hey, whatever it is you have in mind, you want to talk to the other girls. All I do is dance. Well, I, actually, I, I was wondering if we could get together sometime. Look, pal. Uh, Evan. Uh, Evan Mitchell. I don't need to know your last name. In fact, I don't need to know your name at all. Bottom line is, I don't socialize with customers. Well, see, that's just it. So, uh, hi. Well, see, uh, that's the thing, you know, see, I'm not really a, a customer. I mean, this, the whole thing was their idea. I'm, I'm really much more of a kind of an inadvertent uh, bystander, sort of a, a reticent look, uh, onlooker. You didn't seem too reticent with me. Right, that's a point. Um, you know, I just felt a real connection with you. I mean, not, not a sexual one. Well, okay, yeah, sexual one, because, I mean, you're stripping and everything. But, I mean, but not merely a sexual one. And, and see, that one, the bottom line is, is, is I, I would love to take you to dinner sometime oh, okay okay look at, at, at the risk of revealing myself as somewhat of a, a social misfit i'm gonna ask you a question if, if the answer is yes you got to go to dinner with me tomorrow night what do you say okay oh, okay didn't i see you at xenathon 2000 last month at the convention center um, dinner it is <laughs> i know it's amazing you don't really care do you Blue chips, small caps, munis, whatever, we're flexible. Tell us something we don't know. Here's a nugget for you. IPO, Friday morning, Ivy Jean. Sack of money. It's that? public record. The ladies have a broker. A broker? Do you look like a sackers? We are on the line. We make our own trade, thank you very much. Of course you do. Good. Friday morning, you buy into IvyJean.com. Jack, what's the ticker? Ivy Jean. You buy it up. I promise you'll be very happy. Mm, 
I don't think so. The second the market opens, stock's gonna move. We missed the bump? No. You guys want a party? We want the IPO price. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Take my card, call me, I will take care of you. But first, you gotta take care of me. What's up, boys? Yeah! He's I'm gonna a have clean sex. Tiger! I'm gonna have some sex, alright? You cowboy! Dean! <laughs> Great party, man. Oh, thank you. Oh. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah. What's up? I don't know, man. Maybe not. I wasn't even gonna bring it up. It'd be in your bachelor party and all. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. You know a clown named Chad Kellner? Yep. Sort of. Al used to date him. Right, right, right. I play hoops with him over at uh, Reba. So a couple of weeks ago, a few of us grabbed a beer after the game. This guy starts in on some story about how he and Alex used to date, and that she was pressing for a ring. So he broke up with her. <laughs> then, then he says she started calling him about a couple months ago, said she might be getting engaged unless he wanted to try to talk her out of it. Oh, Where's guy? This is very, very good. I owe you big time. The Salesforce brings in the orders, mostly from institutional investors, mutual funds, pension managers, occasionally from individuals, high net worth clients of the firm, mostly. Then all the orders move to the traders, buy, sell prices, quantity of shares move at a time. It's all up to them. You met Jack Henderson? Yeah, what's up, Jack? What's up? Why don't I catch up with you guys at the meeting? Yeah. Great. What are you doing? They're jerks. They're the client. Hey, guys. How we doing? Oh, um, Catherine. By the way, Peter Dearborn says hello. Excuse me? Well, you know, Pete. He sends his regards. <laughs> oh, I'm so good. What was that? Uh, well, according to a very reliable source, our new vice president left some nasty scullings in the closet over at Aronson. What are you doing? Listen, this is unbelievable. Peter Dearborn is an Aronson partner Bond guy. Apparently, our new friend and Mr. Dearborn fall hard for each other. The guy is married. <laughs> you ready? Three months ago, the guy gets transferred to London just like that, takes the whole family with him. <laughs> is that not ridiculous? Real classy. What? Hey, Jack. Chad, you got a minute? All right. You want to wipe that grin off your face, or you want me to do it for you? 
What do you want? What's the deal with you and my fiance? Sorry to give you a wake up call, Jack, but your fiance must have my number on speed dial. You want to hear her messages on my voice, man? I'm happy to point well, out. You know what? You can go to hell. Hey, Jack, look. I mean, the thing with Alex and me, uh, I always kept it on edge. You know, it's a weird thing I do. You know, I have to make the girl feel like she's chasing me the whole time. Anyway, Alex is, uh, I, mean, I don't have to tell you. You know, she's a gunner. She likes to win. I just think she can't get over not winning with me. I'm sorry, man. Lipstick. What about it? This isn't a date, right? So what's with the sexy lipstick? I always wear lipstick. You think it's sexy? That's your problem. Okay, ready? I don't know. Well, here it is. I'm planning on applying for next year's training program, and, you know, you need a recommendation, so I was hoping that you would recommend me. Okay. I don't plan on answering phones for the rest of my life. I mean, I look at you, <laughs> Mr. Big Shot, and I see it's possible to move up in the world without having a fancy school on your resume or friends in high places. You made it, and that motivates me. Donna, they're not gonna go Listen, for it. Listen, I'm a knowledgeable person. I read the journal even. My friends think I am totally out there, but I do read it. And my stock portfolio, which I manage myself, is up 30% for the year. Donna, all that is good. It is. Look, you want me to be straight with you? Yeah. First of all, you not having a degree is a you big don't have problem. A yeah, but I had the Navy. And second, I hate to say it, but you being a woman. I mean, come on, look at the firm. There are only a handful of women in sales and trading combined, and I guarantee you they got MBAs from I all the right five schools. Years experience. Third, DVAC and those guys, no matter how smart you act, no matter what you read or what ideas you come up with, they're always going to see you as a secretary. This is the year 2000, you know. I shouldn't have to deal with this. It isn't fair. Look, I'm sorry. The real world's not like that movie with, uh, with what's her name? It's never going to be. Oh, man. I gotta tell you, uh, Allison, you are a very unique person. Oh, yeah? Why? Well, I don't know. I mean, have you met another uh, vegan dialysis nurse who moonlights as an exotic dancing warrior princess? All right. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. But, you know, the dancing thing, bachelor parties, it's just to help pay for my degree. All right. I'm not a pro. Okay. And I'm not an actress, either. You know, I, I do Xena because I, uh, relate to her, you know what I mean? Yeah. I would never do Gabrielle. Right, or, or, or Buffy. Buffy. Like Zena would eat Buffy for breakfast. I, exactly, see, that's what I, you know, that's what I try to tell everybody. Oh, know, nobody listens. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I guess, uh, hey, look, I, I, you know, I, I had a really nice time. Do you want to come up? Absolutely. Uh-oh. Yeah, most guys freak out, but I know that Zena would approve. Uh, 
Okay. You realize the firm agreed to knock a point off its feet to get this IPO? Oh, Gus better head it out of the park tomorrow. Oh, I'm sleeping for a month while this is over. Where have you been? I ran into your friend Chad. You checking up on me now? Do you really have that little faith Don't in Don't even try to turn this around. You accept my proposal and you claim to love me while chasing after your old boyfriend like some pathetic, heartbroken schoolgirl? Jack, I want you to listen to me. When you asked me to marry you, I was overwhelmed. Thrilled and flattered and overwhelmed. I didn't know how to process it. I wasn't prepared for it. So I said to myself, step back, think logically, analyze the issue. You're a Harvard MBA, this is what you do for a living, figure it out. So that's what I did, I... I broke it down and I assessed my options. Is that supposed to comfort me that you think of me like some company that you want to acquire? I want it to be rational, it's a big decision. And yes, I hoped you would be comforted in knowing I gave your proposal the thoughtful consideration it deserved. How many times did you call him? It's behind me, Jack. I love you. That's why I said yes. Do you realize how ridiculous that sounds coming out of your mouth right now? I can't even look at you. I, I, I go up there thinking, you know, she's going to be Aphrodite, and she ends up being Hermaphrodite. That's really out there. What? What? Apparently, feminism has evolved to the point where women are no longer satisfied being equal to men. You know, now they actually have to be men. Mm -hmm. You know what I've been saying? They're trying to make us obsolete, dude. I mean, you can't turn on the TV without having to look at two chicks telling each other. My cousin in L.A. told me that everybody in TV development is a chick. You get it? It's chicks training other chicks to become lady lovers in preparation for a world without men. You ever think about cutting uh, down on the coffee a little bit? Okay, that's good, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, the company is Declan. They're a hybrid. But the street views them as genomic, so we're definitely vulnerable. Now, AP confirms that today the FDA will reject two of Declan's pending products, including a highly touted fertility drug. So, in any event, expect a downturn in the entire sector. This has nothing to do with us. You're welcome to Wall Street. Don't read too much into it. It's a short-term problem. We could push it and let the market adjust. Mm, I don't know. It's a risk. Signals we lack confidence. Would you push? Absolutely not. We open this thing at the bell. Stock comes at us. We fill the shoe. We're a buyer until the stock is stabilized. The street will see that we're behind our issue. Eventually, they'll come along for the ride. Let's do it. Sir? Yeah? Stay here. Yeah. At first, I was going to ignore the little stunt you pulled yesterday. It's very thoughtful of you to run a background check on me, by the way. And then, you know, it crossed my mind that not saying anything might give the wrong idea. So, let me be perfectly clear. You're scum. The last thing I need on my team is a troublemaking pig like yourself who has no respect for other people's privacy and who is idiotic enough to harass someone directly above him in the chain of command. If you ever mess with me again, not only will I have you fired, and I promise you I can make that happen, but I'll also call on every favor I'm owed to ensure that you are blackballed by every other firm as well. 
Big day today, Freddy. Let's get to work. Down one and an eighth. Another teeny. People are bailing on us. Ginger, give me a look on the floor. I got 600 for sale at the market, not a buyer in sight. Hey, and we're getting coverage. Bad news from the FDA is pummeling Declan this morning, dragging a number of genomic stocks down with it. New issue IV gene, looking especially vulnerable only minutes after opening, is down one and a quarter. What the hell is happening? Calm down, it's gonna rebound. Don't touch me! I told you that we should have waited a year, but you never listen to me. We lose my dad's money, we are in big trouble. Don't be such a wuss. Oh, brother. This thing is not letting up. Dave. Are you, D Dave, it, Declan Schmecklin, okay? It's apples and oranges. My guys are a jizz bank. They sell sperm. End of story. That's... I, uh, Dave, are you coming to the party or not? That's... Call me back. You have some visitors. Yeah, well, I'm not expecting anyone. Well, they said they met you the other night, and that if you give me a hard time, that I should tell you that their friend Luther's downstairs. Ladies, what a surprise. Your phone's busy. Is that right? Uh, here's the thing. He'll break your legs. Let me think. All right, just let me think. Okay, you stand here, you guard the room. Nobody goes in. Divac, what's her face? Nobody. You just watch the hookers. If they stop writing, you tell them to sit tight. You say, sit tight. You grab their forms, you take them to operations, where you find Alphonse, a scrawny pimply guy. You tell him that I said to subdivide one of the firm's 25,000 share blocks of the IPO and to issue two, two 100 share certificates. You bring them back, you give them to the hookers, and you send them on their way. We're going in the wrong direction. What the hell are you people doing? Sit down, shut up, and let us do our job. Keep right now. <laughs> All right, I hear you. I'll be back. Time to bite the bullet. Okay, Ginger, I want to take this back with the offering price. I don't care how much you have to buy. Are you out of your mind? Are you sure about that? No, I have to call upstairs about this. You're already 12 million over your limit. If this thing tanks, I don't care who you are, they will fry you. Trust me, the buyers are coming. All we need is a little. Left. Woo! I got a 16 top of 500. There we go. 18 and a half. Oh, they're gonna be begging for Hey, you got anything for sale in a quarter? Yeah, food to go. Hey, second row Nick's heat, Bill. You can't really do too bad with Kim McConnell, call the floor and uh, tell him we'll pay a figure for a hundred. The indication from the floor is a lot higher. Yes, you ain't ass. It's gonna be right in your face. Can you believe this? Bill, get on the train. Let's go! Pay the break. All right, 36 and 78 bids. I don't believe this thing. This is 43 and an eighth in a bid. I had a conversation with your wife last week. Oh! Because you're going to make some money. Funk soul brother, check it out now. Among the today's funk new soul issues, brother, right about now. Ivgene.com is a big one. The funk soul brother, check it out now. The funk soul brother, worth 140 million. The funk soul brother, are you worth 140 million? I am worth 140 million dollars. Good man, Mr. Sherman. Nice. Nice.
Now I got one more thing for you. I want to transfer. You don't transfer me, I'm through. The way people behave here is disgusting. I'm, I'm a Wharton graduate. I did not sign on for this. I don't deserve it, and I will not stand for it. Are you finished? Yeah. You got brass ones, Sherman. Big, swinging brass ones. supposed to go out and celebrate? Can I get a rain check? No problem. See ya. Hey. Oh, hi. So listen, I, uh, I brought a few books from home. Thought you might be interested in them. Yeah, market stuff. Thanks. So I'll see you. Yeah, see ya. Jack. I left you a message to wait for me, didn't you get it? I got it. I guess the joke's on me. I spend my whole life thinking, no woman's going to be good enough for me, and then when I think I found the one, it turns out I'm not good enough for her. It's not true. Yes, it is. I was your second choice. This has nothing to do with first and second choices. I think this is just me becoming too comfortable knowing that you loved me and wanting to see if I could have... Everything? Do me a favor, don't come home tonight. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. You're a Harvard MBA. Figure it out. The street continues next Tuesday at the same time here on Sky One. Next tonight, though, Ross is mincing about over Rachel. Business as usual then in Friends.